What's up guys, Brendan Vanson here with an episode and an update regarding the life of this travel photography channel. This channel has grown um, over the year that I've now had it. I'm about to hit a million views this week or something, I will hit a million views. I've got nearly 14,000 subscribers and all that seems pretty cool, but this, the growth has been really stagnant. It's been pretty flat and I feel like things have been plateauing and for quite a while now I've been thinking about, you know, it's time for a change. It's time to, to do something different, do something a little bit more fun, do something a little bit more upbeat, and maybe do something that shows off a little bit of my personality. I feel like the videos have gotten a little bit dry, and maybe a little bit boring, and maybe a little bit too technical. And I built this channel because I wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look at my life. I wanted to give you guys a look at what it's like to be a travel photographer out on the road, and I don't think I'm doing that at all. I don't think you guys are getting any insight into the business, the day-to-day -day life, and into what goes on in, you know, just a day in my life getting out there and shooting a photo uh, in a certain location or shooting photos in a certain location. So I want to go more behind the scenes. I want to give you more of a vlog feel to this video and, and maybe give you guys a little bit better insight into what my life is actually like as a travel photographer. So this idea all came about a couple weeks ago when I was looking at this old channel I had on YouTube called It's My Life 365. That channel was all about my daily life. It was a behind the scenes look at what it's like to travel the world and it started in Africa and it followed me every single day for an entire year. I filmed my life every single day for a year. In many ways that channel was absolutely awesome. It was fun. It was exciting. It showed off my personality. It showed the highs and the lows of being a professional traveler. But in other ways it was so shit. It was so bad. The editing was terrible. It was horrendous. I didn't even know how to edit video back then. I didn't know it was possible to edit video back then. There was no music on the clips. The audio was horrendous. It was terrible. And I didn't really give very much insight into actually the life. I didn't give you guys like that cultural interaction. I didn't interview local people. I didn't talk to local people hardly at all with the video camera out. I didn't film enough. And most of what it was was me standing in front of the camera talking like I'm doing right now. And that's where that channel failed is it did everything right and everything wrong at the exact same time. And it was fun and I still love going back and watching those old videos, but it needed better editing, it needed better um, filming, it needed better everything. But the concept was right. And so I'm going to take that concept now and move it onto my photography channel here. The change that you're going to see is instead of having, you know, an episode from every location, we're going to do episodes almost every single day. Now I'm not going to say we're going to do seven episodes a week because that's a lot of work. I'm a one man team here. I do my own editing. I do my own photography. I do my own filming. Everything I do is my own and I'm not just doing YouTube channel. I, I have, you know, photos to get for clients, I have blogs to do, I have travel writing articles to do, so my life is busy and so for me to film and edit every single day would be crazy, but I am going to try to start uploading five to six times a week. So you're going to see a ton more content and those episodes are going to be each day in my life rather than each destination. I think it's going to be cool. I think it, you're going to see more of my personality, I think the channel is going to be more upbeat, I think it's going to be more fun, and I think you guys are going to going to get a better insight into what life is actually like as a travel photographer, which is what a lot of you guys want. We're going to talk business travel photography. You're going to see the destinations that I'm at. You're going to see what I go through to get to those destinations a lot of times, which quite often is a struggle. Um, and you're going to get a little bit more interaction from me. You're going to get more interaction from other people that we meet along the road. And uh, you're going to see less of these really long clips of me talking like we just have right now and maybe a little shorter quick this is what we're up to um, this is what I'm feeling today this is what I'm shooting right now and then some really nicely edited clips we're gonna have some time-lapse footage I have a drone now so there's gonna be some drone footage and I think it's gonna be cool I think it's gonna give you that vlog format that people on YouTube love seeing 
and it's still going to give you that photography angle. So if you're interested in learning about photography, if you're interested about how to get certain shots, we're still going to have that angle. It's just going to be much less technical uh, on a day to day basis and a lot more fun, I hope. Anyways, guys, I'm in Cappadocia, Turkey, and this place is it's cool. It is really cool. There's um, just beautiful landscapes. Uh, I got here yesterday and it's it's absolutely stunning. So today I'm going to take you out on the very first episode of the new format. We're going to go to a place called the Love Valley. Before hiking, time for some food. Ah, that's great. Thank you. How do you say thank you in Turkish? Teşekkür ederim. How? And also sağ ol. Sağ ol? All right. Okay, that's easier. <laughs> thank you. So I'm now fed and, and fully fueled and ready to hike, but I'm also an idiot because it's like a 45 minute walk down the highway. I have a car, but for some reason I decided to walk. I was like, hey, it'll be a great idea to hike along the highway for 45 minutes. I'm an idiot. So I hiked all the way around Love Valley and now I'm inside. I don't know why they don't just call it the Penis Valley. Beat around the bush all you want, sorry about the pun, but this is the Valley of the Erect. It's pretty cool though, so let's get some epic erect footage with Fido here. Shut up and sit down. So one of the interesting dynamics of my job as a travel photographer is the business side of things. And I don't talk about it very much, but it's something I always have to be locked into. So I need to try to be on the internet as often as, as possible, or at least have it available to me. So as long as I have an internet connection, I can really work anywhere. And that's kind of cool actually. Today I'm working from the base of a giant penis. So I'm back in Gorame after hiking the Love Valley, the Penis Valley, and it was fun, but it was long. It took me like six hours in total round trip when I could have driven the entire thing and done it in like an hour, but hey, that's part of the adventure. Uh, I was gonna hike up way up there to penis, to penis. <laughs> I keep saying the word penis now. Hiking up there to Sunset Point, but it's raining. Um, right now it's just started raining and it's windy and I do not think the light's gonna be good because of it So I've got a couple more days here in in Cappadocia anyway, so 
I, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's the end of the first vlog, the day-to-day -day vlogs, the change here on the vlog. So let me know what you guys think of the new format and some of your ideas, what you think I could do better, what, what you'd like to see from this channel in the future going forward, what sort of videos you wanna see, what sort of clips you wanna see, what questions you have. Throw me some questions. Maybe I'll do a Q&A and a ask me anything here on the, on the channel from time to time. So yeah, shoot me some comments in the bottom below down there. Let me know what you think and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.